Hey everyone, and welcome to my first ever review. Today I'll be unboxing and playing with my brand new Huion Inspiroy 950p. It's actually gonna kick out my old budget Wacom out the door. So I've already unboxed the tablet once before at this point because I was just too impatient to test it out. First up, we have the shiny new tablet itself with its 8 customizable shortcut keys and an 8.7 by 5.4 inch working area. It's really lightweight and the magpie in me is drawn to how shiny and smooth it is. You know you're a digital artist when getting a new drawing tablet makes you squee for a bit. But we steam ahead to the next item which is a nice silky carry bag. It kind of makes things a little more portable friendly if you want to just toss your tablet and its bits and bobs in here to take on the go while keeping everything clean and safe. Alright. Next we have the pen stand, if it will just come out. <laughs> okay, the pen stand um, actually sneakily hides the extra eight pen nibs Huion gives you with this tablet. This idea is actually kind of brilliant, really, as it makes losing them randomly somewhere much harder. And I've worn down my drawing tablet nibs more than my pen display nibs in the past, so these little extras are greatly appreciated. Get, <laughs> get on there! <laughs> ah, there we go. Next is the glorious new pen that is battery and charge free, so no more pen dying in the middle of your work. And it actually has a new update that makes this tablet stand out from the rest. One of the features is actually a new tilt functionality. So on digital programs like Photoshop or such, it will register when you hold the pen on an angle like you would a paintbrush. And you just gotta love how it just sits there and it's a little stand all nice and tidy, making the layout part of my brain very, 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 very happy. And here's the instruction manual. And there it goes. Lastly, the cable. A decent length overall. I mean, as cables go. And it, oh, <gasps> no, 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 go back, 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 where you belong, naughty bit. That's what I get for playing with wires. <laughs> Anywho, back to the cable, it's pretty stock standard, micro USB to USB port, featuring this nice initial bend in it. Uh, and this can actually help with cable interference. I'll just show you what I mean. Uh, let me tie this up quickly, ashes away. the shiny new toy and get it in frame because that just makes my brain happy <laughs> uh, just gotta find where the input is again jeez it's only been a few hours since I last plugged it in you would think I'd remember where it bloody is Ah, this is a little bugger. <laughs> and one moment. And there we go. So, yeah, with this kind of side bend in the cable, it forces it to bend up and away from the main tablet surface if, like me, you need the cable to hook into the computer at your right. Okay, so that's now everything unboxed but one moment. There's one more thing I want to introduce you to, which is Huion's very own smudge guard glove. If you're like me and don't like the sensation of your hands smearing over the tablet, then I highly recommend this. And without further ado, it's time to test this baby out. So now we dive into my impressions and experience with the Huion H950P. And in honor of the wolf piece I did back in my first impressions video with my Huion Canvas GT 156HD V2 pen display, Oh my gosh, that is a lot longer to say than H950P. <laughs> I actually decided that from here on out I'm going to create a wolf-focused artwork for each of my device reviews. It gives me the opportunity to work on something I enjoy drawing and painting, while also helping me take a step back and take in the experience a bit more. And first impressions were on point. 
I was bouncing about in my chair and only somewhat internally whooped at work when it first arrived, but as soon as I had finished installing the drivers and opened up Photoshop to begin working on it, right away I was so happy with the working area this tablet offered. I felt like my arm was allowed to flow and move around a lot more, ditching the restricted movement on my wrist like I used on my old smaller tablet. Again it was a very happy moment for me. You'd think that I'd just gotten offered a bag of Skittle lollies. And this is actually really great for the health of my wrist, because if I end up stuffing my wrist with something like a repetitive strain injury, well, let's just say it would not turn out well for me as someone that relies on the use of my hands to work. A stuffed up pair of legs, the world will keep turning until they heal. A stuffed up set of arms, uh, yeah, not, not so much. <laughs> This was definitely a step in the right direction for the future proofing my workplace safety. So this tablet is integrated with a whopping 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity which trust me is like digging your spoon into a souffle to reveal the rich gooey center. It's so satisfying a range of control after all the time working with such a limited level on my old tablet. I was able to press so lightly and work up the weight of my pencil stroke so intuitively. From barely touching the paper visible to someone is about to snap their pencil lead really bad opacity. So addressing that extra tilt functionality I mentioned that this tablet has, I'm personally not going to go gaga over this edition myself. I typically hold my pens on a bit of an angle normally, but it's nice to know that the ability is there should I choose to experiment with it sometime in the future, but at the moment it's not essential to my process. So let's direct attention more onto the piece I created with this device. Again, I used my new third grid to help with my composition originally and to stop myself reusing the same pose I used on my previous wolf piece. I created a tad more realistic wolf design and how I was able to use the device kind of encouraged me to keep my sketch loose and rather natural. More like I would feel drawing on my pen display, which was a pleasant surprise. I'd already created two different digital paintings that were rather light and shadow render heavy works at this point. One being my Halloween tricks piece, which I highly recommend you guys check out that video if you haven't already, because dang, it really is one of my favorite pieces and videos so far. But in the end, I couldn't help myself in creating another digital painting, meaning no clean line art or simple multiply layer of a color to create shading for this wolf. While I can't really turn my brain off when it comes to this kind of digital painting process, in working with a nice groomed wolf, I did find there was less pressure than in my human based pieces. Animals just offer a bit more creative freedom. But I figured this new device deserved to work on an environment rather than integrate the she-wolf into a photo like I have chosen to do at times. So I did try to push myself a little. So I'm definitely looking forward to using this tablet again on my future work. I hope you guys found this review both enjoyable and informative. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll also share a link to the Huion tablet listing on Amazon where I bought the tablet for myself in the description below. So feel free to follow the link if you or anyone you know is interested in getting this great value for money pen tablet. watching everyone if you enjoyed this video be sure to click that like button or leave a comment below if you haven't already be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos i upload every fortnight and feel free to check out some of my other videos in the meantime see ya